come right over here while you let it go. <gasps> Ooh! What's up? So, right now, I'm actually a little nervous for this video. I'm normally not too nervous about videos, but today I'm going to be getting my back professionally cracked and cupped. So, like, you may see, like, cupping marks. They kind of look like... I don't know, like someone like put a vacuum to your skin and just like made a perfect little circle. It's something, it's really something. But I feel like I have a little reason to be scared because getting your back and your neck and like everything cracked is like a scary feeling because like you're not cracking it yourself. Like, like I can crack like all my knuckles and like all of that stuff. I can also crack my back, kind of. You can kind of hear it, right? So like you can do it yourself, but it's so much scarier when you're like putting it in the like hands of someone else. So we're gonna see what it's really like to get your back professionally cracked and cupped. We'll see if my body feels better after because recently during quarantine, I've been like hunched over my computer, which is not good for your back. The way I'm standing right now is not good for my back or neck. I have a lot of like neck pain just like throughout my neck. Ooh. And then I also will get back pain and sometimes like kind of butt pain in a way like thigh pain Um, so obviously I'm gonna be telling the chiropractor all about that She's gonna spill more facts about all of this because I want to know from like her professional opinion Because obviously she has studied these things so she knows what's good and like how to describe them both so Let's go get my back cracked. I feel like this is gonna be so satisfying But to anyone who hates the sound of back cracking or like cracking in general You will hate this. But anyways, let's do it. I'm headed to the professional chiropractor. Anyways, I'm going right now My appointment is at 3 30 and it is 3. We are now in the room It's very quiet. So I'm gonna be quiet, but not not too quiet. Um, but yes, this is the little chair not chair, it's like the thing that you lay on. Marie is gonna be coming in shortly. So I'm just gonna touch your neck and back and we're gonna check out the musculature first. Sometimes when the muscles are tight, they get so tight they can like stop the bones from moving as much as the bones should be moving. Mm -hmm. And so before I adjust the bones and put them back into their normal motion, it's a really good idea for me to relax the muscles a little bit. Okay. That's your jaw. Can you open? Um, close. Beautiful. Thank you. How do you feel about laying face down on the table? Yes, cool. let's do it. Is that comfy? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so there are armrests for you. Right oh. there. Is it better? Oh, yeah. That is fun. Okay. What about this angle of your neck? Does that feel better or worse? Oh, uh, maybe a little worse. I think. Mm -hmm. oh, let's go up. Yes, that's better. perfect. Yeah. Okay. Let's check this out. Your legs are the same length. Oh think. my god, yes. I've always wanted to. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, we'll do some more of that. Let's just see first if we should put some blocks under you. It looks to me like your legs are not the same length. Oh! Yeah, kind of longer. Oh, okay. on the right. Let's, get closer to that. Let's go check up here. See what happens here. Oh, that's even out. Okay, so what that means is your right leg, your right hip, is twisted forward like that, and your left one is twisted back like that. Whoa! Kinda cool, right? Oh my god, I do feel like a mermaid. I think I'm being stretched. Yeah, I feel exactly. Like I, I feel like if there was a tool to make you taller, this is what it'd be like. Actually, you know what? When we lose height as we get older, most of that height is because the discs between the vertebrae lose their fluid. Oh my and god! And this pumps the fluid back in there. Wow! So, yeah, you might be getting taller. Oh my god, yes. I want to though. reach 5'8". <laughs> I'm just like, actually, no, I'm barely 5'7", so... Yeah, you're taller than me already, so let's go. We'll get that going for you. Can you please raise your left leg up? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, and straighten. All the way. Okay, now can you lift it from here? Beautiful. Okay, back down. How about the right one, Fiona? Like this, or like this, and yeah, then... straighten it back out, and then go up for me. Oh, not as much. Interesting. Okay, so you felt like a little, it, yeah, like right where your, yeah, right there. there. Yeah. All right. So you want me to adjust it? Yes. Sure. Okay. So adjusting the bones puts the motion back in them. When your bones aren't moving very well, then your nerves can get pinched and pulled, and your ligaments 
can get squished and your muscles can get too short or too long. And um, kind of the most important part of that is that your brain is communicating with your body through the nerves. And if you've got interference in there, then it can't communicate optimally, right? Mm -hmm. So we gotta move the bones so that they're in their natural kind of pattern of movement. So can you lay on your left side and face where your mom is? So you're ready for a little? Yes. Noise? So that okay. noise isn't your bone tracking. It's just a little bit of carbon dioxide being released out of the joint. How about the breath for me? And all the way out. Let's push your tummy. Ooh, that feels yes. so good. Isn't it great? Yes. I love it. I love the sound of like not cracking the carbon dioxide. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and go on the other side for okay. me. Okay. It's okay. I always pop or crack whenever I, my ankles. Do you hear that? Oh yeah, I do. Every time I walk at night, whenever I'm trying to sneak sneak around the house and get some food, my mom will always <laughs> hear me because I have the crackiest uh, feet. Yeah, you can go stealth if you stretch your calves a little. So if you give your calves a stretch and then adjust your ankles, you might be able to be more stealthy at night. You might not crack so much. I need to do that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and then face up. Okay. Can you please take your hands uh -huh. and hold up here on the table? So with your arms, Whoop. you're anchoring your oh. body, and you're not letting me pull you right off the table. But with your leg, it's just kind of relaxing. And kind of my leg right now. If I bend it, it bends. If I straighten it, it straightens. You feel okay? Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god. It doesn't, <laughs> I feel like a lot of people think it hurts. Is that like a question you get a lot or Sometimes no? Sometimes people ask that, but it generally it doesn't, doesn't. doesn't. Yeah. Okay, can you bend those for me? Yes. Okay. Are you ready to have your neck checked? Oh, this is the scary part. I'm always so scared of getting like my neck adjusted. I don't know why, it's just scary. <laughs> we can talk about, about it first. I won't do anything quick without telling you. Okay. Okay. You can let go of the top of the table and just put your arms where they're comfortable. These right here are jaw muscles and it's really nice to relax the jaw muscles. They're super important. Mmm, this is good. Strong. Yeah. And we're gonna take out the froggy pillow. How's that feel when I go to that side? Is there any pinching or grabbing on the left or just a little, nice stretch on the right? Uh, I would say it's definitely a little... Oh wait, on the left? Mm -hmm. Oh, the left feels nothing, but it's just a stretch right, awesome. right there. Yeah. Okay, now if I go to the right, does it pinch or grab on the right, or is it just a nice stretch on the left? Mm, pretty, yeah, no, it's, it's a nice stretch. Okay, beautiful. So those muscles get a little tired, and the thing is, the nerves come right out between those muscles. They're called your scalenes. Ooh. So what we want to do is relax your scalenes by doing belly breaths. I'm going to hold the weight of your head. So let's have you take a breath in. Let it go. And then we'll come right over here while you let it go. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, that one feels different. It like it's more intense. Yeah. Because I never cracked those bones. It is pretty intense. Yeah. Whoa. Um, it's really nice though to get those moving because you know what? The whole nervous system, except the except the nerves that go to your head, and there's only like twelve of those. The rest of it comes through here. Wow. Yeah. So it's really important to have your neck aligned. All those nerves going everywhere else in your body gotta come through here. That side, weirdly enough, already feels better. I don't know if it happens instantly. But yes, it often does. Yeah, uh -huh. it feels better. And you will probably also continue to get good results as time goes on. Ooh. So it is, again, one of those things that feels good right when you do it, and it's great later, too. Are you ready for this one? Okay, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the mm -hmm. one. Ready. Beautiful, and drop that shoulder down. Perfect. Is it like bad to crack your own bones? If you crack your own neck and you get the neck kind of the wrong way, the wrong place, you can press on this nerve called your vagus nerve. And it's super important. It goes to your heart, it goes to your intestine, Ooh. it goes to your stomach. So if you kind of crack your own neck and put pressure on that nerve, it can be really uncomfortable. So I don't really recommend cracking your own neck. Now I've only seen that about five times in my career 
and I've fixed it and the patient has felt a lot better. That's good, but still, um, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Cracking your knuckles, they've actually done studies on that long-term. People who crack their knuckles get less arthritis. See, I think that is such a myth when people say like, oh, you get arthritis from cracking your knuckles. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, Total not myth. true. Total, Total myth. myth, yeah. That's good, I am a finger cracker, always. Mm -hmm. Just be loving and gentle with them. True. I, I don't know if I'm that gentle. I've tried to crack my mom's and I'm like ripping her finger off. I'm like, crack your knuckle. <laughs> it's funny. She does not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta respect mom. True. All right, let's do your mid back. So let's have you sit up. I'll help okay. You. So just like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna hug you too. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my hand under your back and just gently squeeze okay. in certain spots and that will adjust your bones. Amazing. Good so this is, yeah. So this is the mid, the mid back? This is the mid back. Okay. The thoracic. The thoracic. Oh, I don't even know if I can pronounce that. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> okay, I got you. So when you're ready, do a breath in and all the way out. And I got you. Beautiful, and again. Good. And then can you bend your knees for me, Fiona? Yes. Like so? Perfect. Okay. And then another breath in and all the way out. Beautiful. Okay, and let's bring you up see daisy. Whee! Okay. And then can you scoot to the end? Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Can you put your arms down your sides for me? Yes. And slowly raise them up to the sides like a bird. Perfect. Keep going. Beautiful. And then come on back down. This one could use a little help. So, I'm going to take this little thing and it does a little quick. Oh, yeah. interesting. Do you feel anything? You do, but it's gentle, so it's just like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It sounds way worse than it is. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it moves the bones just like I do with my hands, but it's quicker and lighter. What's like the weirdest thing you've like seen when it comes to someone's like adjust like bones? I don't know. <laughs> being like you had to adjust them. Oh my gosh, that's such a great question. Well. First, it seems to me like even if it seems weird, the body's just doing what it believes it needs to do to keep you kind of balanced. And mm -hmm. the body, like let's say that you have your hip out and you're like twisted forward like that. The body won't let you go through space all crooked, so it'll twist something else out like your neck like that. Oh. So it looks now like two things are out, but actually it's your body balancing Adjusting. things out. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Beautiful, Fiona. We're, you can stay there and we'll go to position two. You can put your head down and be comfy. And those are beautiful. Now it's time for cupping. So we are laying down. Woo woo. What exactly is cupping? Is it like a suction? Yes, okay. cupping is part of Chinese medicine, and in Chinese medicine, they believe that um, it moves the qi, which is the life force energy in your body, what makes you alive and well. So in Western terms, I think I would more put it in that sometimes the blood can get a little bit stuck or, or stagnant with the qi, mm -hmm. um, and so it moves blood. It pulls everything up toward the surface and it does cause bruising. So you will have some perfectly round bruises on you. Okay, so when we put the cups on, it will hurt, it will be a little uncomfortable, a little pulling. If it's too much, let me know. Okay. Ready, Freddy, here we go. Oh, I'm a little scared. How's that? Oh, not bad. It not feels bad. like pulling. Mm -hmm, exactly. It's a tugging. Yeah, and as we put more on, it'll feel a little bit more like pulling and a little tugging. And it's not getting terribly dark um, yet, so uh, that's cool. It means there isn't too, too much congestion in there. Ooh, don't laugh. That one doesn't feel too. <laughs> Gets a little intense yeah, when you laugh. Yeah, huh? I always giggle, so that's a, that's a fun one. It's good practice for you. Mm -hmm. Gotta be serious. It's like being at church or school or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I feel it, I feel Feeling it. it. Yeah, let's let those shoulders relax a little bit. If we need to slow down, we'll slow down a little bit. Very, like, tight, yeah. Mm-hmm, exactly. It'll feel so good when we take them off. So what I see is this one up here is redder than the others, so I'm going to put another one near it, because that yeah. might indicate that there's more going on up yes, there. Yes, I feel something, yeah, like right there. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one's tight. Yeah. Put a little smaller one there because your shoulder blade's there. 
Are you like pumping it to like? I am. You know what? In real in Chinese medicine, like in the old days, what they did was they put a cotton ball in alcohol, lit it on fire, put it oh. under there, and it used up all the oxygen, so it created a vacuum. Oh, but thank goodness now we have this little pump. I think we can take a couple of them off now and put different ones on from what I'm looking at. Oh, that's good. Give you a little space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doing okay? Yep. I'm just like mm -hmm. silent. I don't want to move too much. Yep. You're doing great. Oh, that feels so good. It feels great. Mm -hmm. And it's another one of those gifts that keeps on giving. Oh well, yeah, it's already a little. A little bit much? Yeah. Let's take some off. You have experienced cupping. Wow. Mm -hmm. It kind of like hurts a little. It, it not necessarily hurts, it's just like it's pulling. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. Which makes sense, suction. Um, totally makes sense. It kind of yeah. gets hot. Is that. A weird feeling or yeah, I normal? I think that's the blood flow, right? So yeah. your body's sending blood in there, you know, thinks it's supposed to. So blood flow warms you up. Thank you so much. Sucks. You're so yes, welcome. Yes, thank Pleasure. you. Yes, I feel so much better. I feel more adjusted. I feel like I can go like, I don't know, do some kicks. I don't know how to describe it, but I do feel so much better. Okay, so I actually never updated after I got the cracking and the cupping done, but my body does feel better but I'm a little sore like on my back which I'm pretty sure is from the cupping marks or like the cupping but like I do feel very aligned like nothing is like in pain at all so that's good but I wasn't like in like a lot of pain to begin with it was just to like kind of test it out but I haven't even looked on my back for like the cup marks because wait mom can you come here so my mom has hers you can see see that whoa that is so dark it's like a bruise um, but she has them like all over anyways okay i'm gonna see mine for the first time okay so you can see them right there they are pretty dark wow they don't look that scary i feel like they look scarier on other people than like when you see it on yourself wow okay interesting they like i feel like a little cheetah or a leopard 